pre-video disclaimer, I really just realized as I reviewed this video that my bra is showing. Yes, I'm in my laundry room. Mind your business. It's clean and it's pretty. So whatever. Enjoy the read. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Energy Healing Tarot 123. New setup. Welcome, welcome. It's been a while but the energy break was much needed. And as you guys see, we have really um, started going through some really crazy and hectic times around the time I needed to take this break according to spirit. So, but I am here, I am back. Today is June 1st, 2020. And I figure I'd ease in gently and we'd start off with just a Plano energy read for the whole collective and yeah, introduce this new setup to everyone. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. Okay, so I grabbed out our decks here. They've been cleared. Let's get oh, part of the nails. I let my daughter paint them and stud them and yeah, but um, New setup for you guys, so you guys can see what's going on with the cards. But, um, yeah. Let's get this going. Divine Holy Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Most High Protect Over the Spread. Let's get some guidance for the collective as we resurface for today, June 1st, 2020. In the midst of everything that is going on in the world, what can we bring the collective today? June 1st, 2020. And we ain't gonna talk about my ashy hands either. It's because I washed them a lot. <laughs> so. Alright. Hey, I heard somebody say, Damn, Empress Jim, look at the ash in between them fingers. Look, I'm a working woman. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. Okay. Alright. Get us our first couple message out of here. This is the answer deck, if I'm not mistaken. The angel answer oracle deck. And then we also have our lessons cards. I have some daily healing going on as well, which I'll close out with. But we're just going to use some uh, regular modern witch tarot and... Uh, some good old Rider Weight wait, Ripping Pill. And if we need to look a little deeper, I got something for that too. But we'll see as we get into the reading. Let's see what needs to be said. All right. So this will be a collective. Oh, I didn't like that. This is going to be a collective message. So it may not be for you. You may get something out of it. You may not. But we're just going to read what everything is that comes up out of here, okay? Something nice and thorough. We'll give this a couple seconds for the end. And I mean, you guys can leave a comment below. And let me know how you feel about the new setup. Let me know if um, you like having the card shuffled on camera more. Or if you like the old setup where I already have the cards pre-laid out. I just feel like this makes the video longer. But I also feel that with me... Um, having the new showing that maybe you guys would want to bear with the shuffling a little bit more then you can see also when little messages and things pop out for me that i'll be knowing ahead of time so oh, there's a sense of a victory no matter what we're going through right now we shall overcome we're feeling stuck but we shall overcome we shall definitely overcome this. And this is just, yeah, this is for the whole collective. Doesn't matter your color, doesn't matter your race, doesn't matter where you're from. At the end of the day, this is about humanity, okay? Sticking up for each other. Okay. Get this one, one more shuffle here. This is, uh, I actually use this to clarify, believe it or not. Okay, 
We'll see what that's talking about. Well, you guys can. King of Cups. Look at that. Mastering our emotions. Being loving and kind to each other. Okay? It's not about... It's about us coming together. It's humanity. But all right, guys. Dive into you, spread the energy of the collective. Look at the messages for June 1st, 2020. Just the messages here for June 1st, 2020. Do a five card drop spread for the collective for June 1st. Oh, that's it. 2020. I'm so happy to return to you guys and happy for you guys to return back. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Also hit the notification bell button. Leave your comments below. I grab up on that energy, guys, okay? I read all the comments so I can know what's going on. Things of that nature, okay? So, all right. Let's get all these little things out the way. Maybe if I do this, it, uh, nope, it's going to yoke me up. Let's not. All right, so we'll start here with our lessons underneath the deck we have judgment and we do know that we're going through a lot make sure you guys can kind of see it there's no glare but yeah with this judgment here i do just feel like now is the time this is the time you know that a lot of us have been talking about the awakening of the collective people you know coming to terms seeing what's going on standing up for what's right you know clearing out old patterns um getting ready to face anew like truly rebirthing this whole entire civilization, you know, the entire globe is going through an entire awakening and it's time. It's time. Most High has spoken. So, we'll get us a couple out of here, whatever they're willing to give up. Oh, there's one. Guess that's it. So, empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation and I feel... Extremely, that's what's going on in the entire world that, you know, we're not seeing color anymore. It is literally, you are my brother, you are my sister, we are human, you are man, I am woman, we come together. We reproduce, procreate, create, and build up Mother Earth. This is what we do. We're designed to be here to take care of her and nurture her. And I feel that now folks are really starting to wake up and see that, you know, with this humor here. They're starting to see the brighter side of thing, the lighter side of thing. And it's not even so much like humor, you know, when you think of it as a joke, it's really seeing, you know, what we have been blinded to and finally starting to emphasize and just be more understanding. You know, when you, we had the whole Black Lives Matter and, you know, things of that people, you know, you had those few who want to say, but all lives matter. Now, you have those who are starting to understand and see why the hashtag, why the slogan, why the movements were created. Because at the end of the day, yes, all lives do matter. But what we're seeing and we're noting more where the brutality, brutality is laying deeper is with our people of color. OK, and I feel that the entire world is waking up to see that this is an injustice and i feel the power is at hand who is receiving this judgment because those who aren't you know people of color who are waking up who are becoming empathetic and waking up and seeing what's really going on the powers to be at hand they're starting to like you know they're getting on them too and i feel that's when they're really waking up and seeing like look at the end of the day you know yeah they don't care about none of us, okay? Like, if Michael Jackson didn't say it, you know, I'm going to repeat it again if you never heard. They don't really care about us. Like, they don't. Like, and it, it has nothing to do with skin color. It's all about power here. And I feel that people are really waking up and seeing it. And granted, it has to take the movements, you know, that deals mainly with, you know, people of color or, you know, the oppressed, you know, what it, woman included okay you know our lgtb community they include it you know we're seeing that we need to stick up for each other it doesn't matter anymore 
And the world, I feel, is truly opening up to that. The collective is opening up to that. We're starting to stop passing judgment on our neighbor and starting to realize that our neighbor is not the reason. You know, it it's the man. You know, like my kids love watching School of Rock and, you know, in that movie, they talk about sticking it to the man. And right now, collective, the world, we are sticking it to the man. We are standing up. We're fighting for what we believe in. We're taking care of each other. We're not allowing anyone to just like put us down anymore and keep us oppressed, keep us underneath, like keep us blinded. You know, it's, it's really a, a true mass awakening. And we are definitely getting ready to um, embark on some major energy. And I'm really considering dropping some readings for each element to sign for this. But, you know, on June 5th, we are getting ready to have this Sagittarius eclipse in Gemini. And I'm a Gemini. My husband's a Sagittarius. And I was explaining to him how the energy works. And it was like me simply enough just telling him, hey, you know how for the most part, we are a match made in heaven. We are energies together when we are both on even plane. When I mean it is so smooth sailing, it's always easy like Sunday mornings here. But when it's time for passion and emotions to be evolved, whether good or bad, they are extreme. And when I mean they are extreme, they are extreme. Like we, our fights are filled with so much passion and emotion. The love we make is filled with so much passion and emotion. Like the intensity between us when we come together as a Sagittarius and a Gemini is extreme. So that is just how I was able to break down to him. Because he understood the energy that we embody together. So if you are a Gemini or a Sagittarius, dealing with a Gemini or a Sagittarius, then you will understand the intensity of the power and the connection, especially being sister signs, you know, being opposite signs. You will understand that mag magnitude of what this energy shift is going to bring to us on what? Thursday, I believe that is. Friday, something like Friday. Yeah, on Friday, you're going to understand this weekend. It would not surprise me if it is lit. So definitely, definitely, definitely. I will probably have to drop some like weekend reads in relation to the elemental signs, especially with this Sagittarian eclipse in Gemini, because I know this energy is going to be intense. OK, so we do have empathy out here. Let's see, what do we have? Yes. OK, yes. The judgment is here. What we're talking about. Yes, this is judgment time, all right? It's time. It's time for them to get theirs here. What's the message? What's the message? Okay, that's all we have. No need to worry, guys. Just wait, okay? Like you've been feeling it. Like I said, we're sticking up for each other. We're doing what we need to do. We're seeing the brighter side. We're seeing, you know, that the man is really just trying to score us. I really hope you guys can see this while the glare isn't like too awful. But um, we're really like sticking it to the man, you know, like right now it's just a matter of waiting, waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting for these results. I mean, there's no need to worry because even if you can't be out there as a foot soldier, I'm sure you're praying, you're donating, you know, you're you're being there, you're being the air, you're you're empathizing, sympathizing. So, I mean, the, the support is going in in every dynamic into the situation to help. OK. So right now, it's just a matter of waiting. If you're not sure also what to do about this situation or how you can help, sit and wait. Wait for the answers to come to you, okay? Just wait. If you're unsure on, you know, how to feel about a situation, just wait, okay? There's no need to, like, really stress yourself out and worry. You know, just honestly, you also need to wait. If you're not sure how to move, sit in meditation and wait. The answers will come. Don't go out and just run crazily. Like, it's like, I'm pretty sure six, seven years ago, I'd be out there marching like crazy, protesting, throwing back tear gas, you name it. But I'm a mother now with two small children. So I know that, you know, as much as I wanted to get out there and protest and know that perhaps they could turn into some form of riots or things of that nature, I had to consider the small children I had at home that I need to raise so that they can understand what we're going through right now so that I can educate them and be there for them and support them, my small children of color, so that they can prepare to live their lives and the new life that we're going to have following 2020. OK, so 
I found other ways where I was able to help, you know, um, praying, donating. Um, and in this instance, now, you know, I'm coming back to deliver some more healing energy. You know, spirit had me take this break so that I could be here now and be here for you guys and begin to offer more of my services, which, you know, the Twitter page will begin to display those things shortly. But yeah, definitely, if you're not sure what to do right now in this world, in this scenario, in what we're going through, wait, okay? There's no need to worry whatsoever. Just wait it out, okay? So, those are our energies there. Okay, let's pull. Ten of Pentacles, look at that. Stability, being there for each other, being there for the family. Stable life here, okay? Things will be fine. No need to worry. Things are going to be stable, okay? First card out, eight, eight, <laughs> eight of Swords here. Oh, well, you guys can see it probably pretty well, but I'll hold it up. But we have the Eight of Swords here being trapped in the head. Now, see, with this one here, she is truly locked, tied up. But it looks like it's very thin material, probably tissue paper or something that you can just break out of. Treading very gently across, you know, being stable and emotional at the same time. Not really realizing that you're not really embodied by these mental conflicts or this um, delay in conversation or these interferences. Knowing that, the, like, when I look at the energy of this car, I feel more so that, you know... It's like somebody taking you on a surprise and you're not really quite sure where you're going here, like feeling this energy. It's like you're feeling entrapped, feeling interfered, feeling blocked, feeling like you don't know what to do. But in reality, these are just onlookers. These are just naysayers, people who are looking on. Like I was, um, when I was looking into the cards and meditating on the cards yesterday, I was like, you know, really focusing on the sword positions here. And, you know, the swords are down, which means this is all a lie. All this stuff around you that is keeping you entrapped and blocked is all lies. You don't have to be there. You can easily just burst out of this little tissue paper wrapping and keep it moving. Because it seems that, you know, ideally you are finding balance in your emotions and your grounding here. But within your mind, you know, you're you're allowing the interference of people's lies and the naysayers, those who are looking onto you. You're worried about the judgment of others and how you'll handle the situations at hand placed in front of you. Don't worry about them. At the end of the day, like I said, there's no need to worry, okay? There's no need to worry. Needing to definitely get out of that headspace and moving forward here. Yeah, dwelling on a past. Dwelling on people who are around who may say something, you know? Or, you know, if you're someone like me, worried about your kids. What, what about my kids? Can I go out and do these things? Look, don't, okay? Like I said, there's other ways that you can help. All right. You know, there's a, a whole lot of other ways that signing petitions, small donations, one dollar, two dollars. It doesn't matter. It all adds up. But if you do have children and that is what you are worried about, as I was speaking of. Look, there's other ways. OK. And worry about your family because you need to be there to help give them a future. OK. And as well as those people of the past, the ideas of the past. Let that stuff go because it is interfering with your ability to help with the current situation. I mean, say if it's like family dynamics, okay? I'm definitely picking up a family dynamic here. Well, say if you're not a person of color, okay? But you want to be down for the movement. And your family may not be as supportive of you. But you're empathetic and you are open and you're seeing both sides of the situation. You're not really quite sure to do so. You're sitting here and you're waiting to figure out exactly what your next step should be. You will get the answer, Okay? No need to worry there. But if you feel that you need to change, then be the catalytic change for your family here. Okay? Like, don't, you don't have to be like them. You can be the change that you want to see in the world. Don't be like your family if you don't agree with what they're believing in. You don't have to believe and agree with your family all the time, with your mom and dad. You don't have to agree with them all the time, okay? You hit a certain point in life where you become educated and you learn and you know what is best and what's fitting for you. And that's where you need to move from. That's the space you need to move from here, okay? Look at that. Family situation, like I said. Family dynamics, you're feeling interfered because this is probably something your family doesn't support. They don't support you going out there and being down with the movement or, you know, speaking up. You know, it could be friends, even, you know, relationships, it doesn't matter. But somebody is not supporting you and you're feeling blocked by that. Look here. Wait on it, okay? Wait on it. 
something's coming in, something's coming in fast. This communication, this action, this movement, you're ready to go. All right. Don't worry about what they have to say. Between the six and this ten of cups here, there's four cups. All right. Like you're discontent in what they believe in. You don't want to stick with those family beliefs because you believe that there is more. Okay. You have chose to focus on the lighter side of life with that humor card. And you know that there is, there's a better way. Silence is not the answer. Sitting back and doing absolutely nothing is not the answer. It doesn't help the problem. And you know that. And you're ready to step forward in this revolution and create an evolution and help the rest of the collective and the world evolve. I am with it, collective. I am with it. Okay, look at that. Being assertive. I don't even feel like I have to say anything. You're ready to take action and do the damn thing. Passion is there, okay? You're fully full of passion about this. Yeah. So when it comes to, like I said, this past, this family, these relations, this family idea, the things that are hindering you, you have the star card bringing us all in here, which means you're ready to heal past that. You're, you're not like, you know, your grandfather, your great grandfather. You're, you don't believe in their beliefs. You know that it's time for reform. You know that it's time for change. You're here for that. I'm here with you, okay? I am here with you. But you're stressed, or you're, it's causing stress. It's causing anxiety and sleepless nights in your family dynamic in this situation. They're worried about you. They're worried about what stress you might bring onto the family name. You know, they're worried, you know, if you go out there, if you're going to come back home, if you're going to be okay. Look, God got you. Most high got you. Whoever is Allah, whoever it is you pray to, he got you. She got you. They got you. Okay. You're out here for the cause. There's no need to worry here. That stress, there's no need to worry. Look at that. Communicate and tell them like, I'm going to be okay. Tell them. There's no need to worry. I'm going to be okay. This four wands says it all. I'm, I, I might not even have to clarify this. These messages are coming in strong. I'm telling you, spirit gave me this ill break. And I've been, I've never felt more alive. Okay. So... But yeah, this is you telling them like, look, I'm going to be okay. There's no need to stress here. I'm coming back home. I need to go out here and do what I've been called to do. And I'm going to do it. Everything is going to be fine. I've been thinking about this decision. I've been wondering. I've sat. I've waited. I've meditated. There's no need to worry here. I've waited. The time is now. The truth has been served to me. I have been shown. I see what I need to do. Okay. Definitely, 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 okay? Yeah, it's time for me to go out and do my part. It's time for me to go out and do my part. I see people giving medical help, you know, pouring the milk on the eyes of the person who has been pepper sprayed here, okay? I see you having food, having snacks, having water, helping these people march, wiping sweat, okay? Seeing that now there is a time that needs to be balanced. You're taking action here because you know that there needs to be a balance. This is the passion here. It's time to go out and help, okay? We are all family. It's time to go out and give. You're going out and you're giving here. Donating. Wanting to see something fear in the justice system. See fear in the systems that are supposed to protect us and look out for us. That are supposed to help us live and get through. The people we vote for. This is you going out and helping these frontline people here. With compassion. Because these people here, you know, especially if we look at it in chakra tone of color here. This is you. The grounded, stable person here. This is you. Grounded and stable. You're helping bring balance to their truths here. You're helping bring knowledge and communication. This is petition signing. This is protesting. This is standing by your partner and your side so that you can speak this truth here with this throat chakra coming through strong. And with this being more solar plexus, sacral chakra, this is action, getting up and doing what you need to do. You are feeding these people who are out here truly marching, standing in the front of the cops' faces, in the front of the military faces. And those, yes, who are getting upset because their silent, peaceful protests aren't being heard. This is you feeding them, nurturing their body so that they can be strong again and get up and go and keep fighting the good fight. This is you, collective. This is you supporting, being empathetic, supporting the cause, speaking up and taking action, 
staying grounded, okay? This is you. This is why you're coming in with this passion as this not queen of wands. You're coming in with this passion to help be assertive. Give them what they need. You about that life, okay? She about that life. Y'all about that life. My bizzle, my nizzle. But yeah, you're about that life. You're about that life. Okay, still, we are family. We are one. This is longevity. This is stability. We are working together. Okay? Look at that, making decision. You done, you done made this decision. And that's what they're stressed out about because you've made a decision. It's like, look, I'm healing our family past as well. I'm going out here and doing what's best for the world. And that's all that's about. Give me one second, guys. But yeah, you're making decisions here. Sorry about that. But you're making decisions here. And I mean, yeah, it is causing some stress and anxiety because maybe your family hasn't been known to really support stuff like this or you're not sure how. Or they're, Like I said, they're just really worried about you going out there and getting hurt because they're watching what's going on in the news. And yes, a lot of people are getting hurt. Children pepper sprayed, innocent bystanders who have nothing to do with the protest getting shot in the face by rubber pellets. The rubber pellets being just being shot in the face, period. The press, journalists, you know, staying clear out the way, still getting arrested, still getting shot. You got medical professionals who are out there providing free services to help people. And they're getting shot at by rubber bullets and pepper sprayed because they're helping save lives. It's not a color thing. And we know that. We're seeing that. It's right versus wrong. You're deciding to go out here and do what's best. You are making this, this decision here to go out and stand side by side by your brother, by your sister under God and protect what it is that he has given us. Protect our lands, protect our mothers, our fathers, our ancestors, our children, our future. To have a future. You've decided that this is what you want to do. There's no more stress here for you. You're not worried about it. You want your family to stop worrying and understand that what you're doing is what's the best. Like, you know that you have the opportunity to go out here and do, okay? Yeah, look at that. Taking new action, fresh ideas, fresh communication, letting them know, don't worry. I'm young. It's my turn. It's my turn to go out here and be a part of the revolution. Hell, you might even be one of the people who are about to go out here and start one. Because this is brand new spark right here. This is a new spark to go out here and do something else that's the correct thing to do. So you could be someone who, who's been trying to figure out, is it time? Is it time? You will know. I feel like you know. You feel like you know. I feel like you know. Your family knows that you're the one. And that's probably why they're so stressed and worried about you going out here because they know that you're going to go out here and make such a huge impact. They're worried about your return because of the impact they know you can make. Yeah. This is you waiting, waiting for that sign because you know what you need to go out here and do. But this is you being very methodical, taking your time, making sure you have all your ducks in a row. Okay. Before you go out here, because it's getting laid down here on this four of wands and the six of pentacles, which these are both stability cards here. This is equal give and take, giving back and forth. And this is being stable, especially within the household. This is stable actions here. This is tangible, being stable in a tangible way. OK. You've taken your time to put your things in order. You've gotten up the words that you need to say, the encouragement. You've gathered up your resources. So that you can go out and help those who are being pepper sprayed and being hurt. You figured out, you know, what to do with some of that stimulus money that you probably still have lingering. But you, you've taken your time here to know how to move forward. This is that weight right here. This is that weight card, okay?
Yeah. Like, you know you want to invest in this. You know. You're coming with such carefree young attitude here. You have such strong spirit. Yeah. You're turning your back essentially on the naysayers, on feeling into fear, on feeling blocked, and you're moving forward here. You're doing it. You're doing it. Look at that. Loving and nurturing the situation, caring for folks. Wasn't the King of Cups underneath the other deck? Here's the Queen. Loving and nurturing here. What did I say? Pouring the milk in the eyes. Providing first aid. Passing out water. Passing out crackers. Giving them the strength to march forward. Donating to the cause. This is you nurturing and loving on Mother Earth, loving on your community, loving on mankind. This is from the decision you made to go out. This is what your decision is about. Okay? Oh, this is beautiful. I'm loving this. This whole awakening has been... Look at that. Now I have to do this because we have to see how this works here. Okay? So this is how these cards lay down. See this Queen of Cups? You're nurturing this cup. You're nurturing mankind and everyone. You're not even paying attention to the deception that's trying to run to you. You're over that. This is also the energy of you escaping. You're taking this action and take your time so that you can escape and get away from any deception here. You're busy focused on loving mankind right now. You have no time to make a decision off of somebody's lies. Okay? You're picking up the mental conflicts and you're hauling ass. You just don't got it. It's time for you to nurture yourself and nurture mankind. You're leaving behind any indecisions that anyone else has. Anything anyone has to say, ideally. Okay? You're leaving the shit behind. Part of my French, but it needed to come out that way. You're leaving it behind. You know that there are blockages. You know that what you leaving these two swords behind. And remember, in the beginning, there was eight of swords that you were blocked. You're leaving 10 swords. You're cutting all of it out. And you're taking this mental defeat, this conflict, this anxiety, all these lies and betrayals and all this wrongdoing, this brutality and these hurt people and their emotions and your family and folks telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. You're taking all that and you're like, fuck you. Okay. Because I love my brother. I love my sister. I love me. I love... Mother Earth, I love the idea of having a future, of having a place to call home that is safe in the future. And whether it's from police, police brutality or, you know, illness, you out here, you ain't got time for this. You out here to love and nurture. You don't want people being conflicted. You don't have time for that. That's what you've been taking your time to get away from. You knew that. That you took time with that Knight of Pentacles. You ain't got you're, you're letting it go. You're letting all your that's the humor, seeing the bright side. I'm done. I'm no. I'm seeing the lighter side. I'm leaving all that behind. And we're closing this out. Well, look at that. Tower. Shit gonna come burning down. Okay? Shit is coming burning down. Only for things to go back up. When we see towers, we like to think of bad things. But no, this is the shakeup. This is the needed shakeup. This is the shakeup that's needed so that things can come down and be rebuilt. Ooh, it wants me to see that. Happiness. Okay? So that there can be happiness. That there can be sunshine. Sunlight. You see how it's all dark and nasty? This is the rioting. This is... The riots that come from them not respecting the peaceful process, okay? But understand when things burn down, they come back. They come back beautifully here, okay? They come back beautifully as the sun. But keep in mind, this is all about longevity, stability, legacy, the family. And we are all family. You choosing to nurture the situation, nurture yourself Believe in yourself, following your intuition here, getting away from this and putting out into the cause, 
Understand, judgment is here. This is the judgment. What evil is doing can no longer last against this collective. We are becoming stronger and stronger by the second. Let's get a little clarification going on here. Okay. That Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, and you're headed about taking a leap of faith because of everybody around you. You want to go out here and be a part of the new world. Get the new world going. The real new world. Not what politics and the money men, the man, not what they're trying to stick down our throats. That sunshine. The sun card, that happiness. You want to go out here and be a part of this. Be a rebel. Be a hippie. See the light. See the peace. This is what this is about. This is what you're in your head about. This is what people are trying to stop you from. They're, or they, I'm also hearing people calling you a fool. You a fool if you go out there and be down with that. What they ever do for you? A lot. People of color have done so much. So much for all of humanity. Don't allow that Eight of Swords feeling to stop you from taking this leap of faith here, okay? That Six of Cups. Yeah. They want you to be successful but not in doing this, okay? I don't usually call signs, but I mean, it's sitting on double water energy. This is Cancer, so Cancer season. This definitely could be like end of June into July. Things may, you know, start to really rile up, okay? Especially, at, like, when we definitely get into the summer season, when it's officially summer, you know, because we also transition into cancer season. Yeah, sixth month of June here. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. Be victorious. Be victorious towards the past. Take this time to wait. Get these couple weeks together. Get yourself together. Especially with these transits coming up with all this energy. We do have, like I said, that eclipse coming up on the 5th. And then next week, the week after, about a week and a half after that or so, we go into Mercury retrograde. We got a couple other transits taking place on the 22nd as well as the 25th or the 26th of June. So, I mean, it's a lot of energy going on. That's why I say, like, cancer season. Yeah, it's going to pick up. I see you. Saying, all right, pass. All right, family, I'm moving away from this dynamic. It's time for me to go and do what's right. I'm a badass. You get on this motorcycle, you're about to be a badass. doesn't matter if you're black or white. I'm here to support. See that wand? Manifest. I'm here to support. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. It's all about support. Remembering my kids has needs a future. Not worrying about what the past got to say here. Trying to fix the past. Break probably generational curses within your own family. If there's any high, you know, amounts of racism that may date far back that you're unaware of or brutality. But this is you setting these rights, setting these wrongs right here. That's what you're doing here. OK, everybody's trying to stop you, but you know what you need to do. You're telling the family like, look, I don't care. What did I say about the family dynamic? Y'all have to get over it. I need to do what's best. OK, I said the clarification probably wouldn't even be that deep because the messages were rolling in. You're ready to take action on the judgment. What I say, eight of wands, clarify with the judgment. You're ready to go out here and do what needs to be done. You're ready to move forward here. Judgment is here. OK. Queen of wands, queen of pentacles. Didn't I say that below that it's about tangible. You're be becoming stable tangibly so that you go out here and you can give and provide and help, whether it's speaking or, you know, the milk or first aid or what or actually marching. This is you being assertive and being stable and grounded. OK, coming and helping being there. Give me one second, guys. All right, we're back. Just had to do a part two for the video, but I'll put them all together and you'll hear that, obviously, but whatever. But yeah, this is you becoming a stable, grounded individual, you know, especially for Mother Earth, especially when I'm looking at both of them as queens. You're doing this for Mother Earth, okay? Because you believe in a better future for all of mankind, okay? With the star card here, healing over this issue, you know it's time. You know it's time to heal. You know it's time to move forward. You know that this is what you need to do. You are following your intuition here, okay? This is this is your this is your wish fulfillment. 
You know that it's time for you to go out here. And yes, people are stressed. People are worried, as we've mentioned. But they need to have the strength to get over that and understand that things will be okay. The cards say that there's no need to worry here. We're going to pull this four of wands and the six of pentacles up together. Because I feel that this heavily has to do with what you do when you go out here. Yeah. Four of cups with this four of wands here. You are discontent with how things were not stable. Okay. Things are not stable. And this is why I'm talking about you wanting to make things stable. Come in and bring things back. Make things balance here. Go out and do your part. You don't like how things look either. You're over this, people. You're over this. It's ready for something. It's time for something new. You're looking at everything, you know, people trying to come back around and say, oh, don't worry about this. You know, it's going to be good. We're going to be good. And you're like, no, we're not going to be good till we have something new here. Because this ain't going nowhere. We need something new. This ain't stable. Whatever little things that y'all think y'all doing or... Oh, it'll come together. That three of cups, it'll come together. It'll reconnect. It'll be all right. There will be more celebrations and things down. There. No, there's, it's not. And you know that. It's not. You want to give and take. You want to help these people out here. Bring success and happiness to them. It's time to make a new ten of cups. You know that there's a new ace of cups that can come out of what they think is stable because you know it's not. And you know that it can lead to something real stable, something for real here, a happy earth, a happy world, a happy humanity. You're ready to go out there and help make this happen. OK. Pull up the next row, the lovers, this page of wands and this knight of pentacles. And yeah, I'm seeing everyone out here, young, old, it don't matter. Coming together. OK, lovers decision here. This was a decision. Your decision to do was right. To transform this situation here. With this death, this ego. It's time. It's time to drop the egos. It's time to do what's best. You're here to, your decision is to help transform our situation. Help transform what is going on with the collective. With humanity. That is your goal. That's what you want to do. And you're making the right decision in doing that. And there's nothing wrong with taking this action here. And going out to do that, going out amongst your brother and your sister to support them, to make our bond stronger. OK, these people are knee deep, waist deep, neck deep. In emotions and everything out here standing, processing and you're coming dry land to meet them and help them. OK. Being that support, supporting each other. Setting differences aside, not judging books truly by their cover and taking this action here as a team. This is what you out here to do. This is what you know you need to do. You ready to go out here and go towards your people. OK, you taking your time to think about how to get it done. You're a little, you were a little worried. But you got it together. You kept it under wraps long enough. You waited, like I said. You waited. Everybody was wondering what you were going, what you were going to do, what, what was up. But you waited. Until the answers came to you, until something was illuminated to you. Until this pinnacle that you were holding in your hand, waiting, trying to figure out, what do I do with this pinnacle? Like, how do I, how do I make it go? And now look at it shining up there. In the dark of the night, it's like you figured it out. It came to you. You manifested this out. I'm also feeling that there are people who are worried. Again, looking at this energy coming together. You still have family people who are still worried and unsure about you going out here to do this. And they don't want you to go. That's for somebody. They really feel like you should not go out here and do this. I mean, that's up to you again. Wait on that decision here. You make that judgment, that final call here, you know. I'm definitely feeling like it could be, you know, maybe if this is a husband, wife or whatever. Maybe you guys do have kids and there's a parent who want to go out there. I've given my spiel on why I'm not out there as a foot worker because I have small children. Consider your children as well before you go out here. That is a message for someone. 
Queen of Cups and a Seven of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Nurturing, making things stable. Isn't that what we said? Because you knew that originally what they were trying to tell you was stable was not. You knew that these naysayers, those Eight of Swords folks who was trying to tell you that everything was good, you knew that it wasn't good. And that's why you're now nurturing this energy here. Because you know it's out of lack to make it more stable here. You're coming in to help provide and do your part. Getting away from all these naysayers, getting away and ten of swords in the family energy here. You know, the friends, the folks who are supposed to be on your side, who aren't seeing the brighter side of things, who aren't being empathetic, who you're trying to get to open their eyes and see that. Look, this issue affects us all. You never know when it's your turn. And if watching these protests, which turn into riots, if watching them haven't taught you anything, open your eyes and realize that it really did not matter what your color or your position was. They were shooting. They were tackling. They were pepper spraying. Your hands could be up. Your mouth could be covered. They were snatching masks to purposely pepper spray people who were getting out of their way. Okay? It doesn't matter. And you're realizing that. The system is completely broken. We are awakening to that and we are here to do our part. We are tired, okay? We're getting away from this. We taking all that BS that they done told us and we getting out of here because we tired, okay? Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. It's time for something new. We's tired, boss. We deserve better. And that's why I heard on June 7th, don't buy. Don't buy. I heard that it was supposed to be for people of color, but I'm going to put it out there for everyone. June 7th for one day. Don't buy anything. So do all your shopping beforehand. If you got to go to the grocery store, fill up your gas, whatever. Don't spend a lick of money, a drop, a dime on the 7th. Because that's all they care about. It's time for us to take our money, our coin, and give it to us. Back into our communities. You'd be surprised how much we can do in our own communities if we just give into each other. And I know, and it's easier said than you know, easier done than said. And you know, I'm the first to say that I run to Walmart quick. But who's to say that we can't generate our own community stores and give back to us? Build up our blocks. Create our own produce. Granted, they say, we're not, look, I started my own small garden. Children need to learn. We cannot count on the man. We were self-sufficient before them. We need to continue to be self-sufficient. Okay? Owe me. Shawty. Say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up. You can hold my ice. Now let's say they owe us something. Yeah. We don't got time for their mind games because we know they owe. They need to pay because they stole. Feel me? Pay like you owe because you stole. And they know. A word. But yes, this is all this time moment. This is all going to break down and it's going to shake up. It's going to bubble down. And I do feel us as the collective getting somewhere and getting what it is that we need right now. Okay? Look at that. This tower moment. It's going to bring us apologies. It's going to give us some more rights. It's going to open up the eyes of the man so that they can see we not playing. We wise as hell. We hit to the game. And we done. We're done and we're tired. This woman looked tired. She looked sad and tired. I'm tired. We doing what we doing because we tired. We ain't got too much more emotions to give y'all. The well has damn near ran dry, okay? We tired. And they gonna see that. That's what this time moment is about. We tired, okay? So let's close out for June 1st as we embark on the rest of this week. Let's get that daily healing energy. Look at that. Now what's pretty is water, emotions. What's this? Okay, underlying 
message says, don't be afraid to slow down. Like I said, wait, as this is when you can make real inner changes. Keep that weight card in mind. Keep that Knight of Pentacles in mind. Meditate when you're unsure. But look at here with this water under on the back of this first card here. Emotions, following your intuition. That's instantly what I picked up with that. But the message is develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony in all environments. Like I said, it doesn't matter your color. It's us. It's our community. Okay. And this one is gorgeous and it looks like a flower. Again, with raindrops, water drops on it, all right? Beautiful cards. But develop awe and reverence for life, okay? Like I said, it, we all got to stick together and we're seeing that now. We're waking up. We're waking up as a collective and just supporting. It doesn't matter anymore, okay? So, yes, guys. That was the message on the return for June 1st, 2020. Whew! We shall overcome. Remember when you are around folks, respect their space. Namaste, as I respect yours. And what will be, will be. Ashe. So until the next readings, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.